creating and using delegate controls in sharepoint hello i am venkat ramawat i am sharepoint expert and trainer from nc it services private limited if you want any services from our company you can visit our website nccit.com or you can also contact us over the email address provided here or you can contact us over the phone numbers added here in this video we'll be concentrating on delegate controls so using the delegate controls a developer can customize the sharepoint site controls without editing or even touching the master pages in sharepoint context delegate control is a user control having business logic implemented which replaces the existing control in sharepoint master page so ultimately the developers can customize the business logic of the controls used in master pages there are multiple approaches for customizing the delegate controls but in this video i'll be focusing on customization using visual studio quick look at some of the delegate controls available in our sharepoint master page these are the few delegate controls i added here but actually our sharepoint master page contains few other delegate controls so sharepoint supports customization of uh, any of these delegate controls you can you can customize any delegate controls by default the sharepoint is supported so now we will see a small demo in my demo i'll be taking the suite bar branding delegate control that suite bar branding delegate control i'll be replacing with a logo if you can look at the screen chart available here in top left corner of the screen chart you can see the text share point of course i'm using the on premises environment in on premises environment you can see the text as share point itself but if you are working on sharepoint online you can see the text as office 365 so here my requirement is i want to customize instead of the sharepoint text i want to replace with a logo that is my requirement so once after deploying my solution my user interface looks like this so in in top left corner of the screen chart you can see the venisys logo is available so similar way i'll be developing on delegate control now i am attaching to this delegate control with the help of the feature now so you can see in my actual demo which i am focusing on uh, this video if you can see there are two steps involved in creating and using delegate controls so we are creating a custom user control with business logic so that is nothing but our delegate control so once delegate control is created we have to use the delegate control with actual control means we need to attach the delegate control with our master page control with the help of the feature so i am delegate i am creating one delegate control and attaching the delegate control with a master page using feature okay that that attachments happens here if you can look at elements.xml file from feature file once the delegate control is at, uh, deployed in sharepoint hive location that you need to map like this so in element.xml you need to map like this control source you have to provide the source of the uh, uh, deployed location and then you have to provide the id id you have to provide actual id which is available in our sharepoint master page and then sequence yeah now we'll see the uh, creating uh, this develop delegate control using visual studio so here i'm opening my visual studio 2012 i have 2012 but you can use 2013 also 
yeah and i'm creating a new project um i'm taking sharepoint empty project and you can name it as delegate controls yeah of course this is my site and i am using it as form solution if you want to validate you can validate the site also yeah it is taking longer time actually yeah it's done uh, now click on the finish now click on the finish yeah it's done so now here i am adding one user control but before adding the user control i need one image so exactly what i am doing here is in my shoot bar delegate control i am replacing the sharepoint text with my logo so i'll be creating one mapped folder to keep my image to keep my picture so i add images map folder here sharepoint images map folder yeah i think my visual today is taking longer time yeah it's done now i'll be adding the image i have an image in my desktop i'm add the existing item So after the image, I want to add on user control. User control only. That user control we are utilizing as a delegate control now. So I right click on the project, add new item. So here you select user control. Yeah, you can. Here I am naming it as. Shoot bar user control one. Yeah, you can. Yes, yes. Yeah, click add. Yeah, here. Just you can add anything. Just I am not adding anything. Just I am adding one new control here. Here I am mentioning it as a. You can add a control or something like that. Uh, yeah, you can add delete control. You can give any name. That's fine. Run net server. Yeah, this is done. So now I'm going to the source file. Shoot bar the a six dot cs file. So here I'll be working. So now. Add the namespace related to SharePoint, Microsoft dot SharePoint. Okay, and then here I'll be utilizing the SharePoint related URL also. So just take the SP Web object. Web. Yeah, use the SP context object to get the context of the current current site. Current dot web is fine, and here I'm just taking one image. Yeah, one image control. Yeah. So here I'm mentioning as yeah, image logo. Just I'm declaring. But in page load, 
in page load I will be using this image logo equal to no image yeah that's fine and then you can use logo dot alternate text equal to you provide whatever the text you want Sys IT services project limited. Yeah. And then here the image logo dot this is what exactly you have to provide image URL you have to provide. So here I am deploying this after deploying my image I have to get it from high location. So I am providing that location here. So, yeah, this this is the location actually. I am giving layouts location, layouts, and uh, fifteen, and I have to give images one. This is our map folder location, and then yeah, delegate controls. And then my image name then sys dot png yeah, this is our actual total url here let me mention and then i am adding this image to our control our control name is here we given in user control as a yes delegate control so delegate control i hope i have not saved it yeah, please. Sorry, this is not proper. Yeah, run it equal server. Yeah, I just save it. Yeah, I can get it here. Yeah, delegate control dot. Okay. Just we are adding that control actually to this control. Con yeah, controls. So it's done. Our coding is done. Means our delegate control coding is we develop. So nothing but our user control. You may have, you may or may not having the logic implemented. Only you can add some only user interface also fine. It works here in our case. But generally in most of the scenarios you have to implement uh, by accessing the APIs also. Okay. So now this is my delegate control. I want to attach this delegate control with my master page shoot bar branding delegate control so for attachment purpose I am creating one feature so right click on the features add feature yeah so I will be, I will be changing the name as yeah I will be giving reply delegate control so i'll be giving the site here but you can you can provide whatever uh, your requirement you can provide it so once it is done i want to add one more empty element new item it's empty element here i'm changing the name as a shoot bar element click on the add so here once this particular use, uh, delegate control is deployed in control templates location from your server so we need to attach with your out of box delegate control in master page so that that inform, that association happens in this elements.xml file so in this elements.xml file I will be using this control yeah, control and then I have to use control source so ultimately here I want to refer it from the templates location control templates location so here I have to mention that control templates control templates 
hundreds. Fifteen. Yeah. So fifteen here. Delegate controls is the name. Yeah. And then our control name is shoot bar user control. we have to provide few other things uh, we have to provide id this should be the actual id we have to provide so whatever it is available in the master page the same thing you have to provide here so the master page we have like this should bar should bar branding delegate if you are doing any mistake in providing the id it won't attach and next one is you have to add the sequence also sequence also plays important role sequence is similar to, similar to the rank if you are giving uh, if you are giving good rank then it will be in good position means uh, uh, the previously created out of box uh, delegate control for example that sequence is 1000 if you are giving your sequence is 1001 then it won't reflect only the rank one will reflect so the out of box one only will reflect so uh, always better to provide the lowest number so in my case i am giving the sequence here just one so just see it now i am going to uh, try to deploy my uh, delegate control in my site okay so here before deli uh, before deploying just see the user interface here the text is available as sharepoint itself but now i am going to deploy it so go to the visual studio right click on it just click on the deploy Yeah, I think it is taking uh, little time. Yeah, I, I hope it's done. Yeah, it's deploy succeeded. Now you can go to your site, just uh, refresh your page. Yeah, it's reflected. See this, you can see suit bar branding delegate is uh, attached with my logo. So this is about a small uh, video for uh, creating and using delegate controls for the SharePoint and uh, if you have if you have any queries you can you can you can ping me either in Facebook or you can also uh, visit our uh, Vinci site page uh, from Facebook thank you thanks for watching this video